It's, it's more of a manual throw these days. Do that to you, Rory. Now, behind me are two BMWs that are awesome in every single conceivable way, except for reliability and corrosion. They also both belong to me, so stick around, because in this video, I'll be telling you exactly why you should be buying these cars while they're still cheap no matter what this guy says. I don't care who you are, you should never, ever, ever buy one of these. Well, there's, there's a spring in it. The first car in question is my BMW X5, a car I bought for one purpose only, towing. And here it is, my 950 pound Catsy write off BMW X5. And so let's do a really quick walk around. And then I want you to make an informed decision that you want to buy one. And if that is not your opinion, then you're wrong. The paintwork, if you were wondering, is called Sienna Red. This car is actually an X. BMW demo car from 2002. So it's had all the bells and whistles thrown at it. Double glazing, boot, which I'll show you is very special indeed. And there's a few other really cool bits about it. There are a few things that I need to address quite soon. The rear window, it's its more of a manual throw these days. Do you want to talk about what happened with the front window? Ah, yeah, the front window. Okay, shall we demonstrate that? Have you got a screwdriver on you? Yes. Yes, okay. Wait there, picture the scene. You're in your X5. The air conditioning may or may not work. He does that opens the window and I'm like, Rory, don't wind the window all the way down. The window gets stuck and then you get out. The door handle looks okay and then it pops out and then you struggle to get in. What's happened, Rory? The whole window has shifted back, presumably because this is double glaze, it's heavier. And the window regulator, I'm guessing, has not been upgraded by a BMW. The screwdriver against double glazing glass is fine. Push the window back and then the window goes back up and then the door handle works again. It has been written off in 2016. Insert pictures here. Yeah, it's quite bad, isn't it? But apparently the airbags didn't go off. To be fair to BMW, the interiors of the early noughties are very, very robust. Everything still works except for the electric adjustability. So it's never really been quite right, but this is my favorite money pit of anything that I've ever owned. Speaking of money, I want to thank this week's video sponsor, Phantom Wallet. Phantom! No. Phantom. I've been using this wallet for three weeks now and from my experience, super robust, real carbon fiber. And before you say, oh, all your cars are going to fall out. There you go. The thing I find really cool about this genuinely is pow pow. You get all your cards at a touch of a button and then you can click them back in. It's super light. It's super small. And I have found that having something like this is actually way cooler because I can just put it in my pocket and wherever I go, I know that I've got all of my cars. What's more, because you're watching this video, you don't get 10, you don't get 20, you get 30% off your order. All you need to do is punch in discount code AUTOALEX at checkout and you've bagged yourself the most awesome wallet at a great price. And here we are at my rear. First cool thing, oh, that's posh. Hello, Rory. You're right. And then the second really cool thing about this particular car is that the boot floor slides out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to stay away from him. We don't want to touch him, do we? <laughs> and then you don't talk. Oh, sorry, sorry. And then we're just going to just roll him out. With the sliding boot floor proving itself useful for any hitmen watching, you're probably now thinking, what's it like as a getaway vehicle? Well, as it happens, pretty damn good too. But the PS de resistance, as they say in Germany, is that this car has got a fucking manual gearbox. And I'll tell you why, because this is a pre-facelift BMW X5 from 2002. And the autos on these were made out of chocolate. They were five-speed GM gearboxes. They shut themselves every other weekend. Do not, I repeat, do not go for the GM five-speed automatic. Go for the facelift because that then has the ZF gearbox not made by GM, thank the Lord. Anyway, let me talk you through what driving an X5, a 20 year old X5 is like. And honestly, it feels like a big five series and that is no coincidence because this car is based on an E39 five series platform. So think of it as a heavy five series on stilts. It is shit off road, but really, really good on road. And again, it is a design like the E39 and like the E46 that has aged so well. 
when they first came out, everyone was like, oh, God, that's going to age really badly. What a disgusting pig. But now, look, everyone comes crawling back and looks at it and thinks, oh, nostalgia. Oh, that reminds me when I used to be a teenager or at school. Oh, I want one. Well, get one, OK? Because let me tell you, the E53 X5 is the most reliable, unreliable car you can buy. Expect a lot of things to break on this car. Door handles, suspension, window regulators, and, 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 and. Rust is not one of them. That, that's just reserved for the E46. Drive this probably 50% of the time. Up the M40, 70 miles an hour. There is no rushing with this car, especially this car, because there's quite a few issues. One of the lower suspension arms, the bushes in that are completely perished. The drive shaft as well, they are clicking like a, uh, like a mother -fucker. And the price of these, considering how much car you get, you can pick one of these up, a really good condition one for between three and four thousand pounds. That will be probably a facelift. I paid 950 pounds for Rex. You're probably thinking that the fuel economy on this is gonna be pretty shocking, but it's not. On a long run, 70-ish miles an hour. 36 MPG I'm getting when I'm towing a car. 31, 32 MPG. Everything that I want in a car, economy, performance, fun, torque, power. This has, and especially the 46330i. Perfect two-car garage. Tell me I'm wrong. Oh, and we've got air suspension on the rear, which works. That's also a very common failure point. Apart from that, they're great cars. And now let's take a look at the other BMW that I believe any true petrol head should own at least once in their lives. And this is my E46 330i Touring Sport Manual finished in techno violet. Now, the cool thing about this car is that it has 219.2 thousand miles. So it is a testament of a good service and the M54 B30 engine being rock solid. Yeah, there's a bit of rust. The front wings, what's the word I'm looking for? Fucked. They need to be replaced. The rear arches, they need to be done, which means that the whole side of the car on both sides needs to be resprayed. It is mechanically very sound. Visually, I think this is probably one of the prettiest BMWs that BMW has ever made. Controversial, but I'm gonna claim it. And look, practicality galore. Dog can go in there. Rory can go in there as well. But you would be bound and gagged. You know, we're talking. Uh, but the cool thing about the boot as well, Whoa! Let's do that to you, Rory. Interior-wise as well, as you can see, very minimal bolster wear. These are the special individual seats. And it's just a really nice small cabin, but big enough for four or five people. Steering wheel's lovely. This has also been Alcantara wrapped. Air conditioning works in this one. And then we have wood. Every BMW should come with wood and leather. I love this car. It's a car that I probably will hang on to for a very, very long time. And I think that more people need to wise up to the E46 330i or 330d manual tourings because they, for me, are the best shape. They're the most practical, they're the coolest, and they are only going up in value. So invest now while you still can. Don't drift them, cherish them, because they won't be on the road for much longer. And speaking of being on the road, let's dive straight in and do just that. This is actually, and I've bought a lot of people saying this, but this is a one of one in the UK ever made in this spec. Now, Barney has got quite a few bits, uh, quite tricked out. The uh, steering rack for starters is from a 320D. It's a quicker steering rack. Bilstein, I think B14 suspension all round. It is set up for kind of fast road, maybe a little bit of track driving. I'm 37, okay? It's a little bit too firm for my liking, but for the twisties, it is absolutely perfect and only rubs every now and then. Five-speed manual gearbox, BBS CH alloys. I think they are reps and they are wrapped in Goodyear Asymmetric 5. So really, really sticky, really, really expensive rubber. Grip levels for days. It is such an incredible car. Big enough for a dog. It's economical for long trips as well. You can do 40 MPG. This is, in my opinion, pound for pound, the best car you can buy for under 5,000 pounds. Case closed. Anyone who says otherwise, their opinion is incorrect. Okay, I don't want to hear it. It's easy to work on, it's reliable, except for when it's not reliable. I have encountered a few issues. Um, first of which, the fuel sender decided to fail, so that got changed. And now my uh, fuel gauge lies to me. So I've run out of fuel on the motorway twice. Not ideal. There is honestly very little bad to be said about this car, except for they are wicked and they rust. We'll move on from the rust bit, okay? And 
values of these cars are starting to shoot through the roof again. So buy an E46 like this, a 330i Touring, if you're really cool like me, they are still cheap. And when you consider everything that this car represents, economy, power, fun, reliability, I don't think there's anything that comes close. Right then, so there you have it, a proper look at my two daily drivers. Tow rig is awesome. That thing is still chugging along really nicely. I'm now gonna go home and fingers crossed this does actually make it home because remember, I've got drive shafts to fix really, really soon. If you wanna see build fixing on these cars, then um, please subscribe to the channel. It would do me a favor, do you a favor as well because it's cheap, free entertainment. Last thing, check the link in the description below for Phantom Wallets, 30% off. I wish I could get 30% off car parts for the x5 have a great week goodbye and with that transition no, one, one more come here come here, come here come here come here